Hello everyone, how are we all doing today? Well, as you can guess, it's yet another review by myself, and of course it's Lego again, which I do seem to have done, well, it didn't seem that long ago since I did the Lego theme week. Uh, and of course, I love Lego, so of course I'm going to do Lego again, every chance I get. Uh, this one's a bit different. I've adjusted the camera angles a bit to try to allow for it a bit more, but... Let's see, everything goes a bit out of focus. That's what happens when you change the camera angle and it's angled somewhere a little different from what you would normally have it. Alright, let's see. So as you can see, it's a speedboat with some sort of cargo hauler type thing. Complete with man and of course a truck. And I like this bit here that actually Accentuate the point that uh, the boat really will float in water. Well, I might have just have to give that a bit of a try. Uh, let's just see what else have we got here. All the usual instructions that you would expect. We've got. Let's just see if we can get this to focus. There we go. With all the usual warnings. The fact that it's Lego City, warnings that the boat really floats and so on. Oh dear, you can see right away it's got those little tags that I keep forgetting to uh, do something about. Apparently there's two people here. You can see that on the... Oh yes, there's a uh, pilot of the boat right there and that man watching with binoculars. Because he likes to watch. And then you have another version of the picture right there. And from the looks of it, they like to... Then I like to have a cup of coffee and a spanner on hand. There definitely seems to be a lot of coffee cups in a lot of the Lego sets I've seen of late, and I've now got so many wrenches or spanners or whatever you want to call them. I've got more Lego spanners than I know what to do with. Give them to some characters to uh, play with, I suppose. Ha ha ha. Alright, so let's see, what do we have here? We've got the boat being unloaded, dumped in the ocean. We've got a man saying, hey, as if though he's the funds yet again. Can't they come up with something a bit different, Lego? Oh, let's just move that back into frame there. That's a bit better. And you can see it's three boxes. Three boxes, three bags. We can see that uh, supposedly it's going to be speeding through the water, just like that. And then magically through the power of the force, uh, it gets lifted up onto the back of the trailer and gets driven away. Well, I need something to open this up with. And, as usual, I've not thought ahead. Hold on. Here we go. One screwdriver. My trusty screwdriver, which I'm always got close to hand for some reason. Which even I don't understand, to be quite frank. Uh, let's see. So it's three bars and the instructions. Wait for the noise. Are you kidding me? Seriously. Doesn't that just sort of... Ugh. That kind of takes a lot of the fun and enjoyment of building things out of... Well, I suppose that's the only way they could actually make it waterproof, but... Uh, hmm. I do somehow feel robbed. Right, one, two, three boxes. And it looks like three sets of instructions and some stickers. So, un, dos, tres. Actually, looking at that instruction there, it looks like there might be something I get to add on, so I might get to do a bit more building with the boat than it actually looks like I'm going to do. Right, well, I'm going to see what I can do. I've got to admit, I am a bit disheartened by that, but uh, I think I also need to change the camera angle a bit, because this really isn't working that well for me right now. Well, Wait for the jump cut, and we're back. So here we are, I've uh, repositioned the camera to make things a little easier for myself, because um, before it was just absolutely ridiculously too high, uh, and here we are. It looks quite nice, to be honest, but in general terms, um, I'm still a little put off by the fact that it's a solid piece. I know that's simply so that you can actually float it more in it, it's obviously completely airtight, watertight, completely sealed. Has nice little bits on the end there to simulate fans and so on. 
it does work and it looks quite nice and it's got a sort of canopy here that is a bit on the stiff side but it does work quite well it gives it a sort of pseudo futuristic kind of look you do oh nice sound effect there and you hold it like that it does sort of look a bit like it could be some sort of spaceship nearly but uh, not quite just needs wings coming out the side um, but it certainly looks about it looks very meaty look I could certainly hit a good speed on the uh, on the waterways and in the oceans and so on this trailer section turns quite nicely yeah, it quite effortlessly, effortlessly follows the actual truck quite well but uh, as there's no real movement in the front okay you still have it just a little bit of twist and turn problems this moves fine when it's by itself but when you've got it hooked up it's a little bit more difficult again that looks quite nice um, it does look very much like a truck as you would expect a uh, nice little running board on the side there nice little bits to hook the trailer in and the wheels make a really nice noise as well we've got a little bit of an overhang here which is obviously intentional um, it's not really to my liking in that regard I'd, I'd rather have a you know a good view of everything without any kind of obstruction but say you can't have everything uh, you can't have everything can you then we have the trailer which gets a bit peculiar see the massive gap in the small wheels uh, when you take it away from the vehicle away from the truck it just sort of collapses there it could have done with say another set of wheels maybe there or something else that could potentially prop it up a bit more but you know for the most part you probably wouldn't have this off to one side or being used as a stand for the boat although that does make me think if you've got it by itself like this isn't the boat potentially just going to lurch off no it stays there quite nicely so what if you drop it a bit more violently let's see on three three two one no I'll try that again uh, maybe it jerks a little bit but you'd have to really go at it let's see I'm gonna lift it up as high as I can and just drop it bloody hell that stays on quite nicely well we'll just put that to one side oh I managed to wreck the light see that's one of the uh, indicator lights has just came right off so I'll just put that on there I definitely need a bit of lighting rig don't I <laughs> well I'm using as a cheap lamp which kind of goes to show the budget I don't have let's take a look at the figures one of them is a lady and one of them is a man let's just see if I can bring them in for your attention I think I'll just move the light a little bit more don't you just love how these things never focus properly? Doesn't seem no matter what kind of camera you use. There we go. Chitty chappies. So she's got um, a coffee cup and binoculars. Or at least they're supposed to be binoculars. They've got exactly the same trousers. They've got exactly the same tops on. It's just that this guy also happens to have. I'll have to put her down. A life jacket. And a good job it does too. Only one face and there's no hairpiece, so if you want her going around without the uh, baseball cap, uh, then she's going to be bald. Bald and Karen Gillum in that movie about Guardians in the Galaxy. Or something to that effect. Let's just leave her with that cap on and she'll look slightly more attractive than she already does. As attractive as a Lego figure can be, that is. Well, in general, I quite like the look of the parts and I like... The build, for the most part, this I can sort of take or leave, it doesn't really do anything for me on a personal level, maybe it was a little wider, but it does work very well. I mean, you saw the demonstrations that I did before, it will keep the boat nice and secure. Speaking of the boat, I don't know, I just don't like this all in one piece here, it just sort of, it does feel cheap to me in that regard. The actual build itself, of the actual rest of the boat is quite nice. Um, you just sort of, yeah, it's, it's just a letdown, I suppose. And then you have the truck, which is decent enough. It's basic enough. You could probably use that as the basis for building something else a little more 
Rugged and reliable, I suppose. Mm. Well, as always, I'll let you make your own mind up about it. Uh, let me know below what you think. Uh, please like and subscribe if you want to see more, and if you've liked what you've seen, of course. I'll see you next time. Toodle-pip!